Hey everybody, my name is Al. I'm the channel manager here at Bobcat, and today I want to uh, take a, uh, a look at uh, making a sample uh, sign. You know, we'll have some text in an outside profile. So the first thing that uh, you really want to look at is, you know, when you create a new file, you do, you know, you, when you open it up, it starts up a new file, and and you can use your mouse wheel to zoom in and out but what I want to do is I want to draw a rectangle so I'm gonna to go to other and then rectangle and from here you'll have this data entry window and you can type in some values so we're gonna make our our sign uh, uh, 15 inches in X and we're gonna make it um, uh, nine and a half in Y okay so we can't see where it went right now because our dimensions are larger than uh, what is our viewing screen so if we just click our left mouse button in the drawing window and roll out we can see we have this uh, this shape on the screen here okay so that represents my uh, my outside shape of my sign uh, the next thing that I want to do is uh, I'm actually gonna change the color that I'm drawing in so instead of being in yellow and change this to um, like a light blue here. All right, so we have one shape there, and I, I want to uh, create kind of um, uh, like a like a recessed corner here. So I'm going to use a, a circle command or an arc command, and I'm going to draw a circle here, and then I'm going to cut out this corner. So what I'll do is I'll go to arc, and then I'll do uh, snap. And then I can give it a radius amount. In this example, that's a two inch radius, okay? So as I move over the intersection of those two lines, I can left click and you can see my circle is drawn. So I can draw another one there, left click, I'll move it over to this one here, left click, I'll move it over to that one there, left click, all right? So now I can just right click cancel because I don't want to draw any more circles. And now I want to trim some geometry. I want to get rid of all of these, uh, this geometry that's in here, okay? So there is a, a toolbar function for this, so you can go to quick trim, but if you're not familiar with your toolbars, you can go to utilities, trim and extend, quick trim. Now what the quick trim allows you to do is click on a piece of geometry and then it deletes it. So we just click on the areas that we want to delete. So I'm just going to left click on the areas we want to delete. Left click, left click, left click, left click. Same thing over here, 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 and here. So now we have our re recess cornered sign. So what I want to do is I want to create a border. So I want to offset this geometry in here so there's a border around it. So if we go to other and then offset, this will give us an offset option. And then uh, you have left side and right side that has to do with what direction you select your profile in. What I'm gonna do is there's the middle of the line here, okay? So when I select on this part of the line here, uh, or depending on which side of the line I select on is going to determine which side is the offset. So let's go ahead and give it a shot. We'll give it a distance. This is going to be 0.675. Uh, so we'll put in 0.675. Number of offsets, one. We'll leave it to left side of chain. And then uh, as I move my mouse over the screen, it will preview this first line here. And a chain is a group of entities that are connected. So in order to select the chain, you hold down shift. And if you're not sure what you should be doing on the bottom of the screen, it will tell you down here. So I'm gonna hold down shift. I'm gonna left click on this line. And you know, this was the midpoint here. I left click on this side. So then this arrow, you can see that arrow is going in a clockwise direction. So if I'm offsetting left side of chain, the left side would be to the outside. So I left, I shift left clicked, it highlighted red, I hit my space bar, and here you can see it offset to the outside. But but I didn't want it to offset to the outside. I wanted it to offset to the inside. So what I'm gonna do is right click cancel, and I'm gonna do it again. I'll do other, offset, 675, left side of chain, but this time instead of clicking my mouse over here and shift clicking, I'm gonna click it down here. I'm gonna hold down shift, left click on the line, I can let go of shift now, and now you can see the arrows going 
in a counterclockwise fashion. And uh, from here, I'm going to just hit my space bar, and now you can see it preview the offset, and then I can hit my space bar again, and then it locks in that offset. So now we have an outside profile, and we have uh, an inside border, and then I'll right-click cancel to end the command. So now I want to I want to put some text in here. Now the Bobcad software you can use uh, any kind of text that's on your computer. So you're going to go to text, okay, and we're going to do uh, William. It's going to be the name. We're going to say what the height of the text is. So I'm going to make this 1.5. Um, the font that I'm going to use, I have a, a bunch of different fonts that are on my computer. I'm going to take this, um, uh, I don't know, I'm going to, maybe I'll just grab uh, um, really any of these will work. I'm just going to grab like a, a standard font, maybe something like uh, Arial. Okay, so now we have our text, we have our text height. I have my this drag button, see if I press that, uh, if I click on it, it goes to this cream color or gray color, and then if I click on it, you can see it highlights purple. So that means we're going to drag our text. So I have my text, my font, my size. I have it set to drag. I click OK. And now as I move my mouse around, the text is coming with it. So here I'm going to put my William located right there. And then the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to write the rest of my text like this and uh, I'm gonna click OK and then I'm gonna drag and put my text um, where I have it okay so now I have uh, an outside shape I have an inside shape and then I have some text and uh, in the next video we can talk about how to remove all the material for this inside shape leaving these letters standing and then also how to cut around the outside of the part to uh, generate our outside border. So we'll pick that up in the next video. Thank you so much guys.